Here I will show you guys how we can find the x-intercept, the y-intercept, and also the slope of a line. And the equation that we have here is this, 5x minus 2y is equal to 8. Let's get started with the x-intercept first. So right here, for the x-intercept, what we have to remember is, we have to let y to be 0, and then after that, we will be solving for x. So this right here is the key, and just have to remember, x-intercept, you let y equal to 0 because it's on the x-axis. So let's go ahead and just put 0 into here, and we will get 5x minus 2 times 0, and that will be equal to 8. And then, this times that will just be 0, so we get 5x equals 8, and this means 5 times x is equal to 8, therefore we divide both sides by 5, they cancel, and we have x is equal to 8 over 5. So this is the x value for the x-intercept. For the answer, I would like to write it as 8 over 5, comma, 0, because this is the point. This is the x value, and it also shows us that the y value for the point right there is 0. Next, we will do the y-intercept, and actually the slope at the same time. Here, this equation is in the standard form. We don't like it. What we really like is the so-called slope-intercept form of the line, namely y equals mx plus b. The b right here is the intercept, and more precisely, this right here is the y-intercept. And then the m right here, it's the slope. So the idea is, if we can write this equation into this form, then we'll be able to answer c and b right away. So let's just go ahead and make that happen. Let's look at this equation again, 5x minus 2y equals 8. Well, in order to get to this form, we will have to isolate the y, which is right here. That means we shall move the 5x to the other side, and we have to do that by minusing 5x on both sides. And then right here, minus 2y, bring it down, and that's equal to negative 5x, and then plus 8. Then. You see, this is negative 2 times y, so that means we have to divide everybody by negative 2. Do it here, do it here, and also do it here. So that this and that can cancel, and then we get y equals negative 5 divided by negative 2, we get positive 5 over 2. Write it down first, and then put the x on the side, and then 8 divided by negative 2, we get minus 4. So as we can see, here is the y-intercept, which is negative 4. But I will come here and write the answer as 0, negative 4. Because this right here shows us when x is 0, we get negative 4. And then the slope is exactly this. Aha, 5 over 2. Done. 